When it is 6.40 now, it's finally Thanksgiving week. And while you may have your mind set for what you'll be eating Thursday, many of you are already looking forward to Friday morning, Black Friday. This year, apps and social media are making an even greater impact on how you handle your holiday shopping. And we're joined by Elizabeth Michael. She's the social media manager at local advertising and marketing firm, Cranford Johnson Robinson Woods, here with some great tips for us this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, Ellen. You know, it really has changed the game when it comes to sales and deals. Um, really all year long, but especially right. on Black Friday. And if you don't know about these or how to use it properly, you can miss out on some big things. Right. And there's lots of different ways retailers are reaching the consumer now through apps, websites, and even using something simple like a hashtag on Twitter. You can really find those deals pretty specifically. I like looking at apps like Retail Me Not. There's even one that's called Red Laser that can help you find deals in store. So if you found something you like, you mm -hmm. can scan the barcode and it'll pull up all the different deals from different retailers. Okay, so there's lots out there to find. So let's yeah. talk about using uh, creating Twitter lists as well, how you make a, a Twitter list on your smartphone. You need to be on Twitter first, yeah. folks. So yeah. you, you need a quick lesson right. on, on how to use Twitter <laughs> and then, then go this route. Right, so step number one would be to have a Twitter account. Right. So if you don't have one of those, go ahead and sign up. It's free, it's easy, you know, it's very accessible. After that, you just create a Twitter list. There's directions on katv.com on how to do that. Um, you put the list of retailers. I've actually brought a graphic. If, um, if they have that, they can show it. But uh -huh. um, you can see my Twitter list. Don't judge me or anything. <laughs> um, I, I'm a big fan of Anthropology, so I've got them on there and Walmart, Target. So you put your favorites yeah, on you, there. Yeah, you find okay. your favorite retailer on Twitter, you put them on there, and then you can look at the list, and anything that they put out on Twitter is accumulated on that list. So it's pretty real time, and it might not exactly have to do with Black Friday, sure. but this time of year, it definitely does. You need it all year long leading up, or all yeah. the rest of the year leading up to, uh, sure. to Christmas. Okay. And then monitor those hashtags because a lot of people will hashtag and you need to know what that, that is yeah. and what that could mean for you. Yeah, a hashtag is basically an electronic filing system for platforms like Twitter, Instagram, and even Facebook. So you can put a hashtag Black Friday. A lot of retailers do that. If you search for hashtag Black Friday, all of the different messages will come up that have that hashtag associated with them. So you can really hone in on the exact retailer that you would like to look at. Okay, let's talk about some local shopping because yes. we encourage that always. Yeah, so this year Twitter and Facebook have kind of changed the game. They've rolled out a buy now in app, um, in their app service for retailers. So if they're only in beta testing. Twitter has kind of broadened the horizon and they're looking at artists and big box retailers where Facebook is really focusing on small retailers, ah. which is making the retail community really happy. So you're not, you're not going to see it right now. If you go through and look at retailers, you're not going to see that buy now button because they're just in the beta testing. But once they roll that out, which I anticipate they'll do that soon, we're going to see a lot more quantifiable results for retailers. So right now it's hard for retailers to really know how much of their sales are coming from social media. After this rolls out, they'll be able to tell. And probably a lot and more every single day, yeah. right? It's just like any other form of advertising, really. Yeah. It gives you another impression. So it, just like a retailer might put up a big billboard with their name on it, you know, they'll, they'll put a post on Facebook. It's highly accessible. It's free. That's why the local retailers really gravitate towards social media. And, and just about everyone seems to be on Facebook, especially that Target yes. women yes. demo that everyone's after. So 74% of online adults use social media. It's becoming really prevalent and people cannot ignore it anymore. Right. I mean, it's a part of our everyday lives. And then lastly, shop online. Talk yes. about that because we think we have to be in the stores for the deals. Right. Everyone thinks they need to wait in line and really struggle for that television set. But in reality, there are many more great deals online and it's a lot easier to find them. You know, Google searching can be a lot easier than driving to a store, waiting in line, and guess what? They've run out of those 12 TVs that they had. So you can go to any site and they'll start having those deals starting on Thursday. So even right now even, you can see people starting Black Friday early. Yeah, get your turkey, your leftover turkeys after you spent the lunch <laughs> with family and go camp out at your computer, you're gonna find a lot of deals yeah. right there. And you need to be smart about it too. I mean, don't get taken by these scams and stuff online. I like anytime anyone asks me for any information, I like to see if there's a little skip button at the bottom so I don't have to give them anything. They like to hide it a lot, but right. look for that little skip button and try not to give them any information. Well, some great information. Yeah. Hope you're ready for Black Friday and we're now more prepared thanks mm -hmm. to all of these apps and social media. Get on board if you're not already. We'll